You see, this is James's actual car, the car in which he keeps a little brush for cleaning the air vents. And he said we could borrow it, providing we didn't fiddle with any of the settings or make it dirty in any way. These chocolate bars just go everywhere. Um, anyway, he also said I wasn't to um, drive it quickly. He made me promise that I wouldn't, for instance, do a drag race with it. And I said, James, I give you my word, I will not drive your car fast at all. I didn't, however, say anything about him. <laughs> OK, we're both going to use launch control. Push that button there. It absolutely knackers the clutch in a, in a 430. Be OK in this, though, because it has a double clutch system. <laughs> so, the new car doesn't just beat the old one, it humiliates it, destroys it, crushes it. I think if I'd just bought a 430, I'd be feeling suicidal now. That sense that you could never drive it again, that you'd just look like such an idiot. Oh. But now it's time to answer the big one. What's the 458 like as a driver's car? What's it like when you show that glorious, finely boned nose a whiff of track? You probably think it'll be brilliant. You probably imagine all Ferraris are magnificent when you put the hammer down. But again, the truth is, they aren't. The 348, for example, felt like it had tires made from wood. The 275 had milk bottle tops for brakes. The engine in an F50 felt like it was bolted directly to your spine. And the 400 was simply awful in every way. So, the 458 then. All face and no trousers? Let's find out. So light. <laughs> Never used to like flappy paddle gearboxes, but this is just sensational. What an astonishing car! Because the rear of the car is so planted, thanks to its new suspension system, they've been able to fit. Super fast steering. Bang, the nose just darts in. Oh! What a machine! This is beyond anything. And listen to that noise. Sounds like a bear. A burning bear. I know this is £170,000, and that's a lot, even by Ferrari standards. But I don't care. I don't care about the bonkers dash. I wouldn't even care if this thing ate one of my legs. The 458 is one of the all-time greats, and I promise I'm not saying that just to upset James.
It really is absolutely, unbelievably, mesmerizingly brilliant. Because I really genuinely believe this. I think this is better than an F40. I never no. thought I'd say that, but it is that unbelievably good. good. Let me just get this straight then. In like evolutionary terms, Ferrari yeah. started with like an amoeba. Yeah. And then they evolved a bit to plankton. Yeah. And then a, a, some sort of creature that crawled out of the slime. That's where James bought in. That's yeah, the Ferrari. He's, he's in there. And then yeah. they leapt forward, really. One. And what we ended up with is, is Stephen Fry with Kira Knightley's face. So one massive <laughs> leap. Yeah, one massive leap just where after. James's was. Yeah, to the you next stepped one. in. Yeah. Are you quite finished? No, you are. Yeah, completely. You can never drive your car again. No, well, not in the hours of daylight, anyway, mate. No. No, you can't. You ate a chocolate bar in my car. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter, you can't drive it anymore. <laughs> anyway, we must now find out how fast, well, how much faster this goes around our track than your useless old car that you can't drive anymore. <laughs> that, of course, means handing it over to our tame racing driver. Some say that he's recently been releasing pop records under the pseudonym of Lady Gaga. <laughs> and that under his race suit, he also wears a red G-string and suspenders. <laughs> All we know is, he's called the Steg. <laughs> and he's off. No drama, no fuss, launch control taking care of everything. Already looking better than a 430 or the idiot's Ferrari, as it's now known. Smoothly through the first corner. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Weird lyric. Okay, out of Chicago, still looking pretty tidy and very pretty indeed. Hammerhead, will this expose any problems? <laughs> Not a bit of it. If I had a criticism, it's this car is almost too technical, too precise. Still better than a 430. Uh, now, follow through. Yep, lovely, around 570 horsepower, working hard. Quick through the tyres and sounding good. Two corners left, like Tom Cruise in our Kia. This car is so smooth, makes it look effortless. Through Gambon on all four wheels to cross the line. OK. Now, here's James's car, look. The Ferrari 430, uh, one month, 22 days, uh, and nine hours. 458. 119.1. So look at that. Almost exactly the same time as an Enzo.